one, guys. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. Welcome to Daily Vacation Vlog Day number three. How are you guys doing? Yesterday we had a very busy and eventful day of doing nothing. It was pretty awesome. Sitting around the house all day watching Netflix and not doing much. I definitely enjoyed it. But you can't do that every day because otherwise you'd just be lazy and fat and out of shape and not very healthy, basically. So today we're going to get up, we're going to move around, we're going to do some stuff. I figured today I would share my tuna pasta salad recipe with you guys. Yes, that's right. Today is going to be a cooking with tone. Cool beans. We're going to make some tuna pasta salad. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, first thing you're going to need to do is gather up all of your ingredients. Obviously, you're going to need tuna and pasta because it's in the name. It's called tuna pasta salad. That one's kind of self-explanatory. You're also going to need some salt and pepper, some sugar, some lemon, lemon juice. What am I talking about? Vinegar. I can't speak today. Pickle juice, some mayonnaise, and some vegetables to put in it. I like to put in some celery, some red pepper, some onion, as well as some green pepper. Some people just put in red pepper. I like to put a little green in there too, just for fun, because, you know, I like peppers. So the first thing you're gonna do is put some water on to boil. Go ahead, throw some pot of water on the stove and start boiling your pasta. That's the first thing you're gonna do. This is gonna take the longest, so you're gonna start off doing that. Toss a little salt into the water there. Don't need a lot, just a little bit. Toss a little salt into the water, cover it up, and wait for that to boil. While you're waiting for your water to boil, you can go ahead and open and drain your two cans of tuna. I like to use the chunk light tuna in water, not oil. There's enough fat in the food we eat already. We don't need to be adding more. So I use the stuff in water. So there you go. Go ahead, dump that in your bowl. A stainless steel mixing bowl. It's an happy stainless steel mixing bowl. It's what I use, but it doesn't have to be. And then you're just gonna go ahead and flake that. So, go ahead and dump those in there. I like to use two cans because, you know, it's too much to salad. And you simply go ahead and flake it with a fork. So you get a nice, smooth consistency. Like right, so, there we go. We're looking pretty good. And you can take and set that to the side. Next we're going to go ahead and dice our vegetables that we're going to be putting into it. I like to use half an onion, half a red pepper, half a green pepper, and a couple of stalks of celery. There you go. Here's a pro tip for you guys when you're dicing onions. Um, to avoid crying while cutting onions. When you cut an onion it releases gases from the onion and those uh, on the gases from the onion are what cause your eyes to tear up and water. The easiest way to avoid that is to simply breathe through your mouth while you're chopping onions. Um, it's a tip I learned many, many years ago working in a restaurant. I, you know, particularly a Chinese restaurant, we go through a lot of onions. Um, you know, two, three, fifty pound bags of onions a week. Um, that's a lot of cutting onions. And um, after a while, you just learn how to avoid um, crying while you're cutting them. Basically, so you're gonna just go ahead and dice those three through your mouth while you're doing it. That's your pro tip from Tone for the day. So just go ahead and chop up, or not chop, but dice all of your vegetables. Alright, so now that our past is done, we're just gonna go ahead, dump it in a colander and drain it, like so. Then we're gonna go ahead, rinse it with some cold water. Get the, this does two things, it stops it from cooking, as well as cools it down so that we can proceed with the next step. 
tone, there's still steam coming off that, and you're sticking your hand in it. I'm aware of that. Trust me, it's okay. Cool beans. So I'm just going to leave this here in the sink and let it drain for a bit. Okay, now that our pasta is drained, we're going to cooled and drained. We're going to go ahead and dump it back in the pot. Saving some for Fiora because she likes pasta. Cool beans. Go ahead, dump it back in the pot and begin to add the rest of our ingredients. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit of sugar. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, not too much, I don't want it too salty. A little bit of pickle juice, like so, a little bit of vinegar, and some mayonnaise. And mix that up until you get a nice kind of creamy consistency. It's going to seem a little runny at first. That's totally normal. That's going to thicken up when you add the dry ingredients. It will thicken up after a few hours in the fridge. This seems like it's getting good now. Cool beans. Kind of like this. You want a nice kind of creamy consistency. Like so. That seems pretty good. So once you get that nice consistency, like you're gonna go to the fridge, grab those vegetables and tuna that we chopped earlier. And then you're gonna go ahead and dump those in. Like so. And give it a nice mix up. You just mix it all together. Now you got it all mixed together, you should end up with this. A nice tuna pasta salad. Go ahead and take your other mixing bowl, a clean mixing bowl. Go ahead and pour that in there. Like so. Continuing to mix it. As you pour, I always tend to make a lot of this stuff and it usually barely fits into this mixing bowl. This one may not actually may have made a little bit more than I ordinarily do yeah it's not all gonna quite not all not quite all gonna fit in there so we'll have to go ahead and use our other mixing bowl as well that we stored those vegetables in and pour the rest in there and there you go you have a lovely tuna pasta salad all finished only thing left to do is cover this with some saran wrap throw it in the fridge for at least four hours um you know at least four to five hours and you're good to go cool beans gonna be awesome let's give it a little taste test see how it tastes it's gonna taste better after it's been in the fridge for a while but let's give it a little taster and see how we did i just dropped some on the floor because i'm awesome like that yeah, it's pretty good. That is some pretty good tuna pasta salad, if I do say so myself. Cool beans, thanks for watching. That's pretty much going to do it for this episode of Cooking with Tone. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Post a, com uh, post a comment down in the comment box if you liked it. And if you want to see some more, maybe I'll do some more Cooking with Tone videos while I'm home on vacation. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your tuna pasta salad. I know I will. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Cool beans. Rock on.